I loved working at theme parks for a lot of different reasons. Here's a number of my favorite reasons why I loved working at them. It's easy to know the negatives about working at a theme park. You're dealing with being outside and all sorts of temperatures, low pay, long hours, dealing with people sometimes. So why do it? Why are there some of us that just absolutely love it and don't even mind making a career out of something like that? There's a lot of reasons I spent 10 years working at theme parks, loving every minute of it. And if I could and pay bills and take care of everything else, why I would love to still do it. And fortunately, some of those other things just prevent it right now. But So here's several of the reasons why I loved working at them so much. First off, I loved the setting and the atmosphere. And this is something that just even going to them as a guest is very true. I love being able to spend time at them. If I go, um, for example, I got my passes to Silver Dollar City now. There are days that I just love to just go and sit and slowly stroll around and hang out. It's a way to forget the real world and all of its troubles and issues and problems and step into a world that may or may not have existed but is not the one that we're in now. The things that we deal with, they get forgotten and left behind. So your issues, your problems, and all of that stuff, they get left out in the parking lot. At least they should. <laughs> And you get to kind of step into this whole different realm that takes you away from all the other stuff. It's why even as an employee, yes, it's a little bit of an acting thing, but when you're backstage, you know, getting ready to do work, you're still kind of in reality. But as soon as you step out, you are into this whole different place where what you're dealing with on the side doesn't exist anymore. Part of it is acting where you can actually take those things and forget it as you become the role you are. And that's actually one other thing I loved, was I loved the acting to step into this role that wasn't me to let me shine through and, you know, what I could imagine and feel like I would be in this kind of a role, but to be able to act and fit into this setting. Whether it's at Magic Kingdom where I'm in this fantasy realm, or Hollywood Studios where I'm a paparazzi photographer taking picture of all the movie stars. And yes, there were times I would definitely take on that role and treat the guests like that. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I've actually caught you after your biggest hit. Come on, I gotta get some pictures for my magazine and let you see all the publicity we're gonna get from you. It was a way to be able to step into that role and just bring it to life. I loved at Silver Dollar City being able to rob the trains, you know, hey, we're back in the 1880s and being a bumbling hillbilly and making it come to life for people or the conductor who's going to protect them. I love the thought on Rhino Rally that we really were cruising around in Africa. And, okay, yes, we know that Africa is in the middle of Florida, but still to be able to take people out of where they are and go to someplace different was just the coolest thing in my mind. You could take all those adventures you kind of dream of and let's make them as real as possible. And to have a role in that was just really, really cool. So I, that was one of the big reasons I loved going to work. I guess you could put it this way. In every single one of my jobs at theme parks, I got paid to play. I got paid to act. I got played, paid to goof around within the framework of the job. To still be able to do that job, but to do it in such a way that it brought the fantasy into reality. At least for that temporary moment. Who doesn't like acting in the theater and stuff like that? Well, okay, I know for some of you it's absolutely terrifying. But for me, it's a way to step out of who I am and my normally shy shell. I know this is going to shock a lot of you, but I'm actually really kind of a shy, introverted person. I, I'm what I like to call an extroverted introvert, that I can sit there and, and put myself out and project myself and act, which is why all these things felt good, but it, it drains me. And so after I do it for a little while, I need to shut down and not talk to anybody for uh, a while. Just leave me alone, close me off. And it fits very well with that kind of personality. You've got your bursts for a little while and you're out there performing and then you have your breaks where, okay, I'm going to shut down and just close everything off and recover now. Even the videos, yes, this actually fits that as well. So it makes it a lot of fun that way. I mean, who doesn't want to get paid to play? One of the other things I loved, and it, again, thinking my personality, this may sound a little odd, but I love working with people. 
I am not the kind of person that wants a job necessarily, say, in the back kitchen where I don't ever talk to anybody or hiding where people don't see. Yes, I have absolutely loved working in the sound system at church, but I'm a talker, a mingler. I like to be with people, at least in the framework of my job. And again, I know it, it sounds really odd, but on my private time, I like to be alone and left alone. But if I'm doing a job or something, I enjoy being with people and to mingle with them, especially when they're people that are there to have fun, have a good time. We want to play, put a smile on our face. We're happy to be here. We're excited. It makes it a lot more fun that way because then you're looking for ways to make it even better. Yes, there are those people that are irritating and irritable, but they're actually very rare, which is part of the reason they stand out and are so memorable. Most of the people are there to have a great time. And so as you're working with them and getting to know them and interacting with them, you begin to want to find ways to make their good time even better, to make it a great time, a magical time, a memorable time. And hey, if I can have a role in that, even better. I love to be able to bless people, to make them happy. And really working at a theme park just totally fits in with that because the whole idea is to bless them, to do good things for them, to create something that could never be created. One of the other things that was really good about every single one of my jobs was I had a flexibility to be able to do things a little different, to get creative, and to be able to find ways that maybe you weren't normally thinking of to be able to create some extra magic. Maybe it was just in how I was acting, like I said, playing the paparazzi photographer or the African safari driver and pointing everything out. But there were also opportunities that when you would see somebody in need that you could do something special. When you saw the kids having a breakdown and, hey, I have a way to get a balloon for them or to tell them a really cool story, or to make them feel like they've gone out into the Wild West and they're going to survive a gunfight, or something like that where I could take people that were struggling and, you know what, I can find a way to do something extra. There were occasionally times as a photographer that if you saw somebody that was just struggling and disappointed, I, I can remember one family that they were looking to find a character in a princess and they hadn't been able to do it and they were looking for cinderella i happened to know where this princess was i was able to bring them up main street and she was doing some special meet and greets but i was able to do a little finagling and got them in to meet her what an incredible blessing that was to watch this family really start breaking down and crying because you created an open door for something they didn't think was going to happen that kind of thing was just fantastic and to do it all alongside a great group of people, one thing I was absolutely blessed with at every single one of my jobs at theme parks was I had great coworkers and good managers. I got along well with my managers and had great teams. I built friendships that in many cases still exist today. I mean, it's been nine years almost, over eight years since I worked at Disney, and I'm still friends with a number of people I worked with from all shapes and stripes. It's neat that you can take a group of people that may not have anything in common, but then all of a sudden they've got this commonality there. The differences kind of get set aside because, hey, we've got all these shared experiences, these shared loves, these shared interests, the shared desires. And, and so we have a lot of things in common and you learn to work with people who are different in some ways and may have different beliefs or look different, but it brings you all together on the same level. I love the fact that we got along so well that most of us had a common idea, a common dream of what can we do to make this as great for the guests as possible because it's fun for us. I've got some great friendships. Um, the guys I robbed the trains with, we're still pretty close today. We're kind of spread out a little bit now. I wish we could get together for meals. I've got a number of photographers that were good friends still. And it was wonderful when I was there in February that we had to get together with several of us being able to get together and share some food and stories and just have a great time. In fact, I'm looking forward, as you're watching this, I should be down in Florida and I'm looking forward to seeing several of them again. The friendships that it built up were wonderful. And not just with the cast members. There are actually a few guests, regular guests, that I built up relationships and friends with as well because we got to see them so often. All of those, and then you add in the perks, and I've got videos that talk about the perks and stuff like that, but those are really the reasons why I enjoyed it so much. Just a wonderful, fun-filled job, and gosh, some of the best years of my life. So if you get an opportunity to work in a theme park, that's kind of what you're looking at. Long hours, hot hours, miserable weather, low pay but you've got all those other wonderful things along with the perks of like getting into the park anytime you want. Oh, one other thing I've almost forgot to mention. 
I just love to see the way rides work too. I'm a roller coaster enthusiast and I'm fascinated by the mechanics of how not just the roller coasters work, but also the dark rides and thrill rides and all the other stuff. All of that just fascinates me and always has. And so to be around it, you get to sometimes see and experience things you might not otherwise. And that just totally appeals to the nerd in me, but that's all kind of an extra. What reasons do you have for wanting to work at a theme park? Why do you think it would be cool and not cool? So I'd love to hear your stories. Please don't forget to share them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share the video. Be sure to check the description for all sorts of links and information, including my pins. Don't forget to buy the Sir Willow pins. You want one of these. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and God bless. If you'd like to know about my merchandise, fan pages, and more, be sure to check the description below. If you'd like to know whenever I've got a new video posted, well, make sure you hit that button right up there and subscribe. If you'd like to watch another one of my videos, I've got a great one for you right here. And if you'd like to be like these wonderful people here and support me financially on Patreon, well, make sure you check the link right there. There's even some extra perks for them. Thank you so much and God bless.